Yeah, welcome back to the channel, you guys. Welcome back to Ironclad RC. Today we're going to unbox a new project for the channel. So, uh, so stick around, stick around. Don't blink, don't blink. So I've already took the liberty of unboxing all the goodies and the boat hole. I got everything you guys will see in this video today from Offshore Electrics, one of the premier electric RC boat shipping companies in my opinion in the world they have everything from from ready to runs they got bear hauls you can get kits all the struts str stingers rudders flex cables everything you guys need is all in one spot amazing group of guys in the forum if you have a question about you're ready to run about your boat build get on there and, and somebody's going to help you out they took pride in packaging this boat up. I was debating on whether or not to get it ready to run or a boat to build for a channel. I decided to get a build for the channel. Yeah, yeah they, they filled the box with packing peanuts. The boat was nice and snug and uh, had a nice comfortable ride to my house. So, uh, so yeah, let's get to it. So I got a silver coin right here. Let's flip it. Heads, tails. Uh, heads, we take the boat out. Tails, we we do the the unbagging. So tails. Oh man. Oh y'all. I'm gonna, I'm gonna be killing you guys. I'm gonna kill you. <laughs> all right. Well, let's do the let's do all the all the goodies first. Gotta go over it real quick, and then we'll do the bailing of the boat, and then we'll come back to the hardware. So I got two different rudders. For the boat i got a short rudder i wasn't sure which one to use and i got a longer rudder here um i got a 3 16 strut all right i got some small trim tabs for this boat i will link all everything i'm going to use for this build in a description if you guys want to build along with me oh wow look steve threw in some stickers check, check. All right, I uh, got the motor mount, water cooled motor mount, and 150 3/16ths flex cable and shaft. All right, with some small, small turn fins. All right, so I uh, also got a, a 438 for my Blackjack 24. It's a TFL 438 propeller, and like I said, the stickers. So. So, uh, so yeah, we'll, we'll kind of take a look at some of this stuff in a little bit. I know you guys are waiting for the boat. I can't believe it landed on tails. I was hoping it landed on heads for you. <laughs> so, uh, so yeah, let's take a look at the new ride. This is a Delta Force 23 Mini Sniper. All right. It, it comes in uh, just as a bear hull. It comes... Let's, let's do a slow. <laughs> It comes as a bear hull. They used to sell this boat as a ready to run. 23 inches long. Uh, it's got like a, uh, I would say, if I had to guess, like a, a deep V hull, semi deep V hull, plenty of room on the transom for your hardware. Unlike some of the, the ready to run, those plastic ready to runs like the FT001, the Vector SR85s. They don't have a ride pad. This boat here has a ride pad on its keel. That's going to add stability at higher speeds. So um, that's a bonus. That's a bonus. So so it's a bad looking boat. This boat is bad to the bone, y'all. But I, I don't see any bad spots on the boat. It actually looks really good. The pencil seam around it looks really good. Um, yeah, yeah. This boat, actually, these, these come separate. They come like packaged separately I just kind of put them on the boat so you guys can see kind of what it looks like clean them up paint them or whatever epoxy them all to your hatch so those I got them double side taped down just so you guys can kind of see what the hatch looks like with it on. That is cool. Those look, those are tough. Those are tough looking. Check, check it out. 23 Mini Sniper comes in a red gel coat. Red, yellow, orange, and white. 
Uh, as far as I know, he had two holes left. If you guys are interested in this boat, you better jump on it, y'all. You better jump on it. Uh, this thing is going to be fast, y'all. I'm thinking about either putting this 2868 rocket motor in it, all right, or a 36... 65 this is the motor i was getting 63 miles an hour with with my blackjack 24. so with the release of some of these really nice ready to run boats those are great starter boats and if you guys are into the boating hobby the next step from a ready to run is to build a boat and it's and it's a, and that's why i basically got this smaller mono hull boat for a lot of you first time builders this boat right here is going to be ideal you can um you can fit plenty of power in it we're going to run it on 3s maybe throw 4 in it 4s in it we got the fly color esc and and it's an affordable build for everything that i unpackaged today everything you guys see here on the table minus minus the electronics minus the electronics everything you see was 200 bucks you could probably get away with building this boat for under 250 dollars do a little bit of customization custom uh fabrication to some of your boat parts you know so um so yeah it's going to be kind of a a budget build yeah i'm gonna try to make it a, a fun build also, this boat hull is a great hull to transfer electronics from like a FT-001 that the hull may have cracked or the boat's no longer any good and the electronics are, and hardware is good. This is the perfect fiberglass hull to transfer all your electronics and hardware into. With this water-cooled motor mount, it'll fit a 28 millimeter motor or a 36 millimeter motor carbon fiber rails cnc cut brass nipples for water cooling in the motor mount itself uh, fully adjustable comes with all the hardware i'm gonna do the whole build series motor mount i'm gonna make custom battery trace for it i'll show you how to do it i'm gonna make a custom servo holder in the next video i'll show you how to do it we'll install the strut in one video the rudder in the next video and it's going to be a whole series now this rudder right here is really nice looking and i really wish this one would fit it and it may just it may be perfect um these are the two rudder choices i have and this one is a like a mini rudder for a mini boat and i really i really think this one might be too short and i think this one may be too long yeah see the length see the length difference See, this is the quality I'm talking about from Offshore Electrics. They even put brass breakaway nuts in it. They include all the hardware. Everything's nicely anodized. Beautiful hardware. We'll see. We'll see. Um, I got some small trim tabs. I was going to go with the medium trim tabs, which I have the medium trim tabs on my 35-inch Delta Force. And the small ones are perfect. I think the small ones are going to be perfect for this build right here. Compact. The brackets are compact. You don't, you don't have a, And they're lightweight, you know. See, they're two-piece. Comes with all the hardware, even the through-hole hardware. That's the size comparison. Look at the little baby turn fins. <laughs> That's going to be perfect for this boat. So here's a little size comparison with the turn fins here. Uh, he, of course, he includes all the hardware for this as perfect. well. And the strut. Now the strut I was questionable about. I've seen uh, a couple of builds with a Delta Force Mini Sniper with a full size strut like this and it actually uh, didn't look too bad. We're going to go a little bit bigger, you know, with the 2868 or the 3665. So I wanted some a cable that was going to withstand all that torque that these motors, these bigger motors put out, you know. You can see Delta Force logo right here. The transom looks pretty thick to me. Uh, no flex on the back of the boat. All right, push it pretty hard. If you'll notice here around the hatch area, there's a, a second little flange here. So you can like fabricate a second 
layer of uh, protection, give your boat extra waterproofing. Appreciate you guys watching. I hope you guys kind of keep up with the build. I hope this inspires some of you new boaters to uh, build a boat yourself. Go to Offshore Electrics. I'll put the whole shopping list in the description, everything that you guys will need. And I uh, hope you guys follow the build with me. I appreciate you watching. Big B with Ironclad RC, a channel where we tinker, test, and tune everything RC. We'll see you guys next time.